uh, it, you know, in the last five minutes, I just started dozing off. I could not keep my eyes open. So I slept through the actual landing. <laughs> so excited to get off that stupid mm-hmm. plane and away from that screaming toddler and <laughs> left the laptop on the plane. That is the perfect way to come in with you, uh, <laughs> with you being angry about that. Oh, but I, I don't blame yes. you. I would be mad Many too. words to agree with you on. 1,200 words of a review <laughs> just kind of dangling out there. Uh, uh. All right. We're going to explain that here in a second, too. So I think we're coming in live right now on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Hello, everybody. This is Trends with Benefits. This is our weekly roundtable podcast where we gather a roundtable of experts here at Digital Trends to talk about the topics of the day. And we have a bunch of things we're going to get to today. And if you're watching live, we want you to be involved in it. So let us know if, you're, if we're asking a question give your answer. If you have questions for us, feel free to drop those in there. Uh, we're going to be talking about everything from Boston Dynamics' new Nightmare. Uh, we've got a SpaceX moon mission and whether or not you go on it. We've got a uh, the LG wallpaper OLED TV review. But the first topic that we're going to be getting to is, of course, the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to talk all about that and whether or not it's worth the hype, whether we think uh, whether you would buy it or not. Uh, Rookie Caleb's moves. phone will just be uh, Rook- playing in the background. So that's a lot. You get a pass for today. We'll explain why. <laughs> Um, I'm your host, Greg Nibbler. Let's introduce our roundtable here, though, to my right. Brad Burke. Brad Burke. Hello, Brad Burke. And? Adrian Warner. Hello, Adrian. And on the end? Caleb Dennison. Okay, I feel like just before we get going today, because we're going to be talking about the Nintendo, we should just briefly explain what has happened to Caleb before we before we started this. <sighs> Caleb, your day has been a little bit rough. Yeah, well, you know, I was down in San Francisco to review this OLED TV, which I can't wait to tell you guys about. Uh, but I will wait to tell you instead that I got on the plane and behind me was a toddler, not an infant, but a toddler who was riding for some reason in a uh, a backwards child seat. So his head is up against the back of my seat and the entire flight he's just kicking, pounding uh. my seat, you know, and wailing at the top of his lungs almost the entire time. <sighs> now the noise canceling headphones took care of the loudness, but the constant pummeling, there was just no getting away from it. And I didn't feel like being a big jerk and turning Did you around. turn around? No, yeah. I didn't Ooh. because I've done it. the because I spoke briefly with the father as he was trying to put this seat in. And he was clearly unnerved. Now, what I should have done was said, hey, pretty good chance there's no occupant in this middle seat. Maybe put the kid there. Uh And, of course, that would have solved all problems. They could have done that mid-flight, honestly. But anyway, I was really distracted. I was so overjoyed to get off that plane that I completely forgot to grab my laptop out of the seat pocket in front of me, left it on the plane. That plane made its return to San Francisco. Fortunately, though, they grabbed it. And it did not make a trip out to Boston, Logan International Airport. <laughs> and uh, and so it's getting FedEx to me, but it's got like 1,200 words of this review that were just really good. Like, I'm not going to do that over. Forget oh, it. Oh, man. <sighs> anyway, so I got to wait for my laptop. I don't know when it's going to arrive. I don't know when we can publish this review. And, you know, ugh. It's got to feel good to get it out, though. Just get it, it out do, there. You know, so now everybody somewhat, knows. Somewhat. I just, I'm an idiot. You know what? This is my fault. <laughs> Nobody to blame but me. Not even the stupid kid. Um, it's not, I, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to blame the kid. I, we would all like to blame the kid. I think you should just blame the kid. I think you know. it's the kid's fault. That's and the thing is, this at. is the second time this has happened. I did it on a flight to LA once. I just sort of dropped it between the seat and the fuselage and left it there. And I was lucky to get it back then. So this is twice. I'm not getting this laptop back if I leave it on a plane again. I know that. My, You've learned that. My karma has run out. It's run dry. Mm-hmm. All right. I got nothing left. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, that makes a safe return and we'll get that review. But yeah, that sucks. I'm a master of just giving the glare. That's what I do. I just glare enough. Until oh, they, I glare. Until I'm they, a glare. To, yeah, you until seem they feel like uncomfortable. Yeah. I would feel the <laughs> stabbing <laughs> coming from right. your eyes. All right. Well, we need, <laughs> we need to get to the Nintendo, though. We could talk all day about what we do with, uh, <laughs> with loud kids on the plates. Um, okay. Talking about the Nintendo Switch. So we got our question out there right now, which is we're discussing you know whether or not you want to buy one, or if you have bought one, let us know about that, and whether or not to make the switch, as you would say, to, to buy oh. this thing. I know, it was, it was just right there. I had Boo. to do it. I had to do I it. I had to do it. It was, it was cheap and easy, and I had to go for it. Uh, but it's pretty much... <laughs> That's kind of your that life sounds, philosophy, that isn't sounds it? Bad. This show's already out of control. Oh. Uh, three, 300 bucks. It's out tomorrow. Anybody who pre-ordered, I believe, is getting them um, anytime between tonight and tomorrow, right? Yeah. It should be arriving. And, uh, yeah, let us know if you purchased it. I mean, a couple of things that I wanted to bring up is we have a huge review of it at digitaltrends.com that you can take a look. Uh, Mike Epstein went all in detail with it and talked all about it and some of the pros and cons and whether or not uh, it's something you would want to buy. The thing where I'm kind of 
hesitant on. I mean, it sounds cool. I grew up playing Nintendo. I love Nintendo. But now it seems like most of the games you're going to come out with are just Nintendo-based games, so you can't get another another game and play it on it. Like another another system, like or another um, you know franchise of games aren't going to be available for Nintendo. Is that true? I think it's a 